After collecting data of more than 100 signals in the downtown area, NDOT officials are rolling out a new signaling system within the I-40 loop that will help both pedestrians and drivers. It is coming at the same time that tourism picks up here in Nashville. News 2's Corey Johnson joined us now with more. Corey. That's right, Bob Haley. The new signaling system is rolling out currently and it's going to give pedestrians a couple extra seconds head start in the crosswalk, making them more visible to cars to help avoid crashes. It also gives extra time before that green uh, before that light turns green again. Now, NDOT officials tell me it's called a leading pedestrian interval or LPI. They say data suggests it could reduce crashes by up to 15%, but the new system won't just benefit people walking. Drivers will also notice more green lights in a row during peak rush hours and on high traffic streets. Now, a few of the signals are already up on James Robertson Parkway, 11th Avenue North and Dr. MLK Jr. Boulevard. NDOT plans to roll out 20 signals at a time through the middle of May with two evaluations. The first NDOT will be on site for two weeks after they're installed to make sure that they work properly. Three to six months in, we'll be looking at a larger selection of data, looking at travel time, reliability, and safety comparisons to what we've seen since compared to what was prior. Pedestrian volumes downtown really pick up in March, running through the end of October. Lower Broadway itself, just from 1st to 5th, at the peak hour, we'll have 10,000 pedestrians on the sidewalk at any given time. Now, in the next few weeks, NDOT is also set to receive a $3 million grant from the Federal Highway Administration for design work on an adaptive signal network. It will use AI to help manage downtown traffic quickly and make changes in real time so it doesn't have to follow a set pattern. 